What's up Team Outcast, Jonathan Buckhouse here. And in Vail Resorts finally announced their protocols, their protections, the things they wanna do this winter when it comes to COVID-19. So let's jump into this so we can figure out how it's gonna affect you guys this year on the slopes. But before we get into the information, if you're new to this channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, not only to just stay up to date with snowboard information like this, I do cover a lot in the ski and snowboard industry, but by smashing the subscribe button, you're joining the strongest ski and snowboard community on the internet. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and let's jump into the video. So all this information should have been emailed to all the Epic Pass holders out there, but if you're not Epic Pass holder, this might sway your opinion or your decision on which pass you're gonna get. I'll get into the icon stuff at the end of the video. But starting off, the thing that all of us are so happy about is there's no more reservation system. They got rid of that, thankfully. That was pretty tricky and pretty tough for me as someone that makes content on the mountain. I had to make sure all my friends and slash filmers and everyone that was working with me for the day got the same reservation. And in the early season, that was tricky. By the end of the year, you could get a reservation if you just showed up that day. So that, that ended up working out, but reservations are gone. Thankfully, we don't have to deal with that. But the face coverings, they're not gone, but you only have to wear them inside. So when you're staying in the ski lines, you're skiing and riding, you don't have to be wearing your face covering, even though we usually do that uh, because it's cold outside. Inside a building, if you gotta go to the bathroom, gonna get some food, whatever you're doing, uh, you gotta throw a mask on if you're getting those rentals and stuff like that. So that's not, that's nothing different. Uh, we did all that last year. Now the dining reservations, they had this last year because they had limited capacity. You gotta like scan the thing, say what time you wanna come eat, show up for your reservation and, and go inside the lodge. I don't think they're doing this because of COVID. I think it's because the ski lodge and like, it was becoming a disaster. You had people that were just sitting at tables all day like the mom that didn't want to ride and stuff like that so people were not able to go inside lodges and ski and eat because people were just sitting there the whole day so this whole like dining reservation and having a time window and things like that i think it just helps cycle in the skiers and snowboarders so that's sticking around but i don't think it's truly for COVID. i think it's so that they can get more people in and out of lodges and you don't have people it was bad like you really couldn't get a seat at keystone or other breck when you go into the lodge because people were just sitting there all day now the next topic is kind of the controversial one comment down below what you guys are thinking but be nice to each other i do not want fighting in the comments or whatever but like i'd love to know your opinions on this one and i'm gonna read it because it, it's i don't want to get anything wrong dining vaccinations guess will be required to show proof of covid19 vaccination to dine in our indoor on mountain quick service cafe style restaurants. Proof of vaccination will be required for all guests ages 12 and over at those locations. The requirement includes those guests 12 and over in our ski and ride school programs to include lunch. More details on the vaccination process will be released ahead of the season on our resort website. Consistent with many other large scale indoor activities and venues, we believe the vaccination requirement is important for the protection of our guests and our employees given the number of people using the facility and the fact that the guests will not be wearing face coverings while eating and drinking. This is currently the only part of the experience that we require proof of vaccination unless required by local public health. For example, Whistler Black Home requires proof of COVID vaccination in all indoor restaurants, restaurant patios, bars due to the order of the, the Provincial Health Authority of British Columbia. So basically, if you wanna sit inside and eat at any of the ski lodges or anything like that, you gotta be vaccinated, gotta show it. They said they will, inform us all how that's gonna how they're gonna enforce that and everything like that so we'll see how that plays out but i know for the majority of americans that that won't be an issue and the last thing which i think actually might affect all of us in a weird way is that Vail's also requiring all their employees to be vaccinated now right now in summit county we're having a housing crisis and an employee crisis we can't get anything staffed up here because no one has anywhere to live we're having all these issues and now on top of that uh you got to be vaccinated to work at Vail resorts and you, we all know there's a lot of people that don't want to get vaccinated because of health reasons religious reasons the list goes on why they don't want to do that so that might once again affect the staffing at these resorts and obviously not enough staffing causes like longer wait times and things like that. So we'll see how all that plays out. But uh, yeah, Vail Resorts is requiring all employees to be vaccinated and then all guests that want to eat inside to be vaccinated. So that's kind of, I'd love to know your opinion on that. I'm not going to share my opinion, but uh, let me know what you guys are thinking and how is that going to affect the ski season? I'm just so thankful that we do not have to make reservations to go ski and ride, especially early season, all the opening days we're trying to get out there. Now, before I give you guys what I think with the Icon Pass, I'm mandating that you guys snag an Evolution sticker, the ski version or the snowboard version. Uh, this is how you guys 
let other people know you're part of Team Hawk House as well as supporting the dream. I do do this for a living and we have the goal to ride every single ski resort in the United States and I fund all of those trips buy the stickers and the merch, you guys snagging it and supporting the dream. So all the Evolution merch is linked in the description. Thank you to everyone that is just supporting the dream, making this whole thing possible. Now, I think with the Icon, they can't really mandate and do a bunch of these rules like this due to the fact that Icon is a bunch of individually owned resorts working together, creating a single pass. So you're gonna have to look at like Copper Mountain alone, what are they deciding for COVID-19? And then you're gonna look at like uh, Winter Park, like what are they deciding? by themselves for their, their rules. So if you have the Icon Pass, I think you're gonna be looking at each individual ski resort and what they're mandating or their rules are for COVID-19 and stuff like that. But with all that being said, Team Hawk House, uh, once again, be nice in the comments. Don't, don't cause fights, guys. And I, I'm just trying to keep you guys updated with all the information. I do have the vlog that I was gonna post today. I'm postponing it uh, until after the live stream we're gonna do tomorrow. But the big snow videos are still continuing, guys. If you didn't know, we went to New Jersey, snowboarded in the, the snow dome. It was a blast. Here's one of the videos right here. You can check it out. And with that, as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. I'm on top of the ocean, living like life ain't frozen, feeling my feet been chosen for something other than motion, yeah. Mama told me I'ma be somebody I ain't never gon' need nobody, no, no I ain't never gon' need nobody No cliffhanger, yes